Good day, good day! How the hook are you? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. This is the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rover. And today we've got Shaduko! Shaduko, yes! And I just happened to notice that this little bugger just does not want to stay where it's supposed to, but that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> all right. This is my collection in entirety of Shuko. Shuko, yeah. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about this German toy maker. It was founded in 1912 by two... Um, Germans, uh, Hendrik Mueller and Hendrik uh, Schley Schleyer, 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 I believe, yes, in uh, Nü uh, Nuremberg, Germany. The company was uh, then, unfortunately, all the way to 1976, they went bankrupt, and, uh, but then... Uh, reorganized in 1993 and then went totally uh, independently uh, administrated or whatever in 90, 1996 and they are going well today and uh, one of the things is helpful is the uh, uh, Miho exclusives by Shuko European Cars now um I have not ever laid hands on one of these buggers in person, in the flesh. Uh, yeah, so let's see what we can do. <laughs> the new stuff, there's some new stuff coming out. Uh, these these things, uh, what did this cost me, like 15 bucks? Uh, shipping included, which was nice. Uh, just uh, Cali, California or whatnot. Um, so yeah, really kind of cool. I, I, you know, that's a little bit more than what uh, I normally spend for uh, new stuff. But I, you know, I, I wanted one, and uh, you know, I've seen them around. Uh, there is a 110, I believe it's by Shootco that I'm trying to get a hold of. Uh, yeah, unbelievable. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go with uh, this one here, the red. Uh, 172nd junior line now I believe um, this this one here and I, I they're both uh, they say both junior line I want to say this one is the older one and uh, it's got an issue going on as if, if you can't tell a little issue going on there uh, this is a newer one that I uh, acquired and uh, ba bam uh, David Christie sent me this one, and uh, I'm gonna try tagging his uh, video, uh, the unboxing video or trade box is what we did uh, for that, and uh, so I'll try to uh, tag that right up here uh, from Dave Christie. Uh, Christie, he's from uh, South Australia, so he sent me this little bugger. And I have, I, I don't think I ever opened it. I, I just, uh, just have not done it. So uh, let's take a look at this one. Oh, wow. Isn't it glorious? Isn't it grand? Let's get it in focus. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautifully detailed they are. Now, this one is uh, screwed down to the, to the base. But just highly, highly detailed. These... Uh, and this is kind of why they they go for so much is because uh, even though they are die cast, they do uh, possess some very very nice uh, detailing. Uh, obviously, the front and back de uh, decos, uh, mud flaps there, uh, very very nice. The the uh, side mirrors have uh, reflective whatever, some detailed interior there. This one happens to be a left hooker. Uh, I believe that's the way they are in South Australia. Uh, nice defender front end there. A uh, little crooked. Is that a little cockeyed there or is that just me? <laughs> Has uh, lens details in the uh, for the headlights. Very, very nice though. Very, very nice. 
Um, nice red, nice little red jobby. The uh, uh, sunroof and the alpine windows are just painted on there, but uh, very, very nice. Uh, awesome. Thank you again, Dave. David Christie there in uh, South Australia. I got to put together another package. We got to do another trade uh, because, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, getting to be time now that the uh, whole COVID thing is over. So then, so the, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. The... The summer of 2000, and this is kind of what I found out about this junior line, is in the summer of 2000, um, they came out with a cheaper uh, line, a cheaper alternative, a low-cost alternative, uh, 143rd scale, and uh, this is kind of it. Yeah, 143rd and 170. Uh, second scale so anyway yeah just kind of neat now this one I think is in uh, 187 scale I'm not really sure no that's 170 second scale yep yep all right well I'm gonna try to get this bugger open and uh, just take a look at it get a gentle oh yeah just just what I wanted to happen because uh, I don't know exactly what is going on with this okay so there we go it's got a nice exterior box. And then we slide that off. That is cool. So yeah, maybe uh, you're paying a little bit extra for these models because of all the packaging and stuff like that. But they are very nice, and um, you know you uh, you can uh, display them very nicely like this. You know too. You know. So oh yeah, this one's just gonna pop right open here. And I hope I wash my fingers so that cardboard. Cardboard. Oh, let's let's drop down here a second. I'm sorry. Let's drop down here. So the cardboard uh, has a little cardboard folded uh, paper, paper that kind of just fits in there. We're gonna turn that glass around. That one was busted. I think I got this one off eBay, uh, and uh, hence that's why it was broken off the base. You can see here, pieces and parts are flying off already. Um, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see where the uh, where it just kind of broke off. There's a nub that's supposed to be on there, and it just broke off. Now, if you haven't noticed <laughs> the elephant in the room, this is kind of unique. The Shuko Land Rover Jeep 2003. Yeah, I did not stutter. I did not misread. Land Rover Jeep. I am not. Uh, whoa, I'm not sure exactly how they got that wrong how Land Rover let them get that wrong uh, no I don't have an error they're all called Land Rover Jeeps which okay I could maybe see you getting away calling this a Jeep because you know it's a two-door convertible Jeep style but how in the world do you get calling this a Jeep what is a Jeep Wagoneer or something I don't know but anyway beautiful car Oh, I love the, uh, what is that, caramel, camel tan in there? Oh, I love it. Just a very nice, uh, very, very nice. Independently, uh, the wheels roll independently, so there's, uh, well, let's just take a look at it. <laughs> I just get so excited this first time I've ever really uh, touched one of these, so uh, very, very cool. So there it is. Now it does have a rivet in the front and then a screw in the back. And then obviously there was this, this hole here is to uh, set it. Uh, just a peg goes in there. And then this is the uh, spot where the, uh, the uh, uh, threaded part goes. But uh, very, very nice. I wish we could focus here so I could show you some really nice detailed car here. Closed cabin with the windows. I think this is an original color. I'm not really sure. You know, I didn't really check. Uh, but I love the interior. It's nice uh, uh, back of the side mirror is uh, detailed. 
Uh, the back end is uh, kind of like a Malibu's International. It's painted silver and then has uh, set red and yellow tail lights. Nice, boy, yeah, nice uh, Range Rover badge across there with the European style um, license plate. Doorknobs are detailed. Very, very nice. 2003 uh, got the shark gills there very beautiful now the front does have the uh, lens inserts which is very very nice and then uh, just a very nice looking grill there very awesome very awesome I could spend all day taking a look at this this thing is beautiful beautiful all right so there we go we're just we're gonna set that aside for right now so the next one I have here is, I got this just a couple of years ago. This is 164th edition uh, Shuko and uh, Land Rover Defender. A little bit different uh, size. Very, very nice. Same kind of packaging. Uh, very cool, very cool. Um, I got this from a friend of mine, Shoresh. He is uh, part of the uh, local diecast company uh, club that's out of the Appleton area. So Shoresh, he gets around and about, and uh, he found something like this, and he 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 knows me because I guess I kind of have a you know distinct uh, I don't know I can leave a mark on you. <laughs> so anyway, he uh, he sent me this bugger, or uh, we met one time at uh, at meet, and he sold me this bugger. I'm gonna see if I can gently get this open, and uh, yeah, so we can take a look at this one. Uh, very very nice very very nice get this open here nice little plastics there nice little cardboard card we slide that out we're gonna set that to the side here it is and uh, it has a little plastic piece there with the uh, two poles to keep it uh, centered very heavy this is all die cast on the top windows Oh my goodness, windows in this one. Uh, left hooker on this. Beautiful detailing on there. Real uh, tire on it on the for spare. Beautiful um, rear taillight decos on there. Very, very nice. Black trim around the windows. Yes. Uh, jump seats in the back. I don't know if you can quite see that. But just a very nice, and I love these wheels. These are my favorite uh, Land Rover wheels. Just really nice. Just a really nice model. The front has got um, the uh, insert lenses there. Painted turn signals on it. Very nice. Now this one has the uh, later uh, bumped out radiator. So yeah, later model for that. We're going to be able to uh, come around this side take a look very very nice so yeah hats off to you Shresh. i don't know if you watch my stuff big time die cast collector uh, hot wheels and and all kinds of good stuff so uh if you watched my uh, video on saturday um you saw that i got this now this is something i bought off ebay and uh the miho exclusives this is not quite the uh, camel trophy sand glow yellow but it is a uh, camel trophy type tan color and a livery very very nice i think that these cars are uh cast the same i i want to say those are the same casting and uh you can see yeah they now <laughs> i think they don't go now they give you three different four different volks uh porsches excuse me uh yeah four different volkswagens well, they kind of cheated there. But anyway, I believe there's a, a Land Rover Defender 90 and Land Rover Defender 110. And uh, I just got this one here. So anyway, I got this one here. And uh, it's like 15 bucks or something like that. And then I, I, I broke down and I bought this one too. <laughs> Same packaging and stuff like that. But uh, I guess why I bought two was, yep, you can't believe it. Uh, we're going to open this one up. Now, these kind of are kind of stinkers to open up. So, uh, just give me one moment here while I carefully do some surgery. And uh, hopefully this doesn't turn out to be uh, 
like a war movie or something where we <laughs> gotta gotta call the uh, chaplain in. <laughs> all right, we're doing all right. All right. Yeah, trying to kind of preserve the packaging. Uh, I know it's new kind of stuff and uh, whatnot, but that's just kind of how weird I am. Trying to save some of the packaging there. And uh, that. All right, I think we're good there. All right. All right, so that's it. We're going to just do that. Hopefully we can get out. Ugh! Boy, that's stuck in there. There we go. All righty then. Here we go. All right, we, now we're going to touch this one right up, I tell you that. Very nice, a little uh, cardboard stuck on that, a little blacking backing plate there. And we're going to slide that right out. Awesome. Oh, yes. Very, very nice. If we can focus. <laughs> so it's not quite a um, matte black roof, but it is a flat black. Uh, with a nice sunroof in there. Red interior. Oh, I kind of like that. This is uh, left hooker, as you see there. Uh, very, very cool. The, uh, yeah, nice black wheels. Like I say, these are one of my favorite. Oh, man, I guess I'm trying to, I'm trying to get close here, folks, so you can see the detailing here. And uh, it is just not working out. Maybe if I do this, we can uh, do a little bit better. All right. Yes, very, very nice. Nice, just a nice uh, metallic silver to it. Got the uh, vents on the uh, wings done up nicely in black. Uh, door handles are uh, detailed. Got the mud flaps for the front. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom of this one. 164 Land Rover Defender. Shootco, yeah. But very, very nice. Very nice. This is now, uh, once again, I gotta, I, I've got to tell you, this is not a chase vehicle. This is just silver. This is not the bare metal chase one. Uh, those are going for big money, and uh, rightfully so. Nice trim around the uh, windows, painted out. But just a very, very nice car. Very nice car. So, uh, yeah, well, holy cow. Going on 18 minutes, we got to get out of here. Boy, I could ramble on all day about Land Rovers, wouldn't you know? <laughs> all right, that's it, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I surely did. It was great. Thank you for joining me. Come on over to Roverland on Facebook. Join up there. Roverland channel on Instagram and join me there. But as always, I want to remind you, slow traffic, keep right. And have a great rover day!